All right, you guys, uh, this geometry lesson is on area of regular polygons, so we're going to re, uh, remember how to do uh, the Sakatoa, sine, cosine, tangent, and other stuff. So area of a regular polygon, I'm just going to jump right to the formula and describe the pieces later, you guys. The area of a regular n-gon, so say a 10-gon or 8-gon, or that would be an octagon or a decagon, so regular means all sides are equal, all angles are equal. So a regular, the area uh, that has side length S and a potham, I haven't talked to you guys about a potham yet, I'll do in just a second. A is you just do uh, one half the apotham times the perimeter, okay? Where P is the, the perimeter of the polygon right there, okay? So the apotham, I have a picture for you here. The apotham is the perpendicular distance from the center of the regular polygon to the side. And I know you're thinking, what? Here's a picture right here. Okay, so here's a regular hexagon right here, okay? Regular hexagon, regular polygons have a center right there, right there in the middle. This guy is my apotham. It goes perpendicularly to the opposite, or to a side right there, okay? And it ends up bisecting this side because this is a regular polygon, so it's an isosceles triangle. On hexagons, it's an equilateral triangle only on hexagons. It kind of looks like it might be on a pentagon, but it's not. Only on equilateral triangles. Anyways, this is the apotham right here. And here's the side length S. So in this case, the perimeter would be uh, 6S. 6 times uh, whatever that side length is, okay? So if you can get uh, the apotham and that, then you just plug it into the formula and bing, bang, boom, and you got the answer, okay? Here's an, uh, a few examples, you guys. Find the, the perimeter and area of each polygon. Okay, so here of each regular polygon, sorry. So here is a, a regular pentagon, okay? Here I see um, the apotham, 6.5, so I know that. I don't know what S is right here. Actually, I'm gonna call this side S over here. All right, so that side is S over there. And then so whatever S is, 5S will be the perimeter right here, okay? I, so what I need is uh, S. So what I'm going to do is talk about um, uh, this angle right here. In fact, I think I drew this angle right here. This angle right here is called a central angle. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm going to find X first. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. I'm going to find X, this side right here, and then double it, and that'll get me... Um, That'll get me S right there, okay, when I double that. Okay, so this is called a central angle right there. Central angle, um, it comes out from the center of the polygon, and it goes to two of the consecutive vertices right there. Okay, and this measure, remember, if I started right here, watch my cursor, and I went in a circle all the way around, I just completed 360 degrees. So I take 360 and divide it by, there's going to be five equal central angles right here. If I drew all those, one, two, and there would be another one right here, three, uh, uh, four, this would be four right here, five, as many sides there are, okay? So here's one, two, three, and then there'd be one right here, four, and then there'd be one right here, five. So uh, 360 divided by five. So each of these central angles is 72 degrees, okay? Now, so this angle right here is half of that. It's going to be um, uh, 36 degrees, all right? So now, do you see this right triangle that I pulled out of here? Here's that 36 right here. Here's the 6.5. Here's the 8. Now, I can use the Pythagorean theorem right here. I chose not to because most cases you can't. But I could have used the Pythagorean theorem to find x. x squared plus 6.5 squared equals 8 squared. That's fine. You can do that no problem right here. But here I'm going to go ahead and find x using uh, the sine ratio. I also could have used the tangent ratio because I have this. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse right here. So that's where I have x over, over 8. Okay, so the sine of 36 is um, uh, 0.588, and so equals um, uh, x over 8. So I cross multiply right here. I cross multiply, and I get um, uh, 8 equals, I'm sorry, um, 8 times 5, 0.588 equals x right there. Okay, so uh, s is twice that, you guys. Remember, s is, is, is two of these x's put together. So I, I need to figure out the perimeter of this guy. And remember, it's area equals one-half the apotham times the perimeter. Here's the apotham, the 6.5. Okay, so S is two of those Xs. So here's an X right here, which is 4.7. That's 4.7, so the whole piece is 9.4. So the perimeter it then becomes 5 times 9.4, or 47. Alrighty, so here's the, the formula. Ooh, I did it all at once. I thought I split it up a little bit. So the area becomes one-half the apotham times the perimeter. 
So one half, the apothem is this uh, perpendicular guy right here, uh, which is 6.5 times the perimeter, and I get 152.75 units squared, or square units, okay? Now the book has 151.5, but that's probably due to some round-off error. I rounded too early. Um, so that's okay, as long as we're getting pretty close on that, unless I made a careless error in there somewhere, okay? All right, let's try another. Don't worry, we got a couple more right here. Okay, so they said that these are regular right here. So the first thing I want to do is count up how many sides there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten sides, so the perimeter is going to be ten times seven, or seventy. Okay, but first I did this. I got that central angle right there. Okay, so this central angle is 36 divided by, t there's 10 of them. There would be 10 equal angles in there. Sorry, 360 divided by 10 of them. So this little central angle right here is, three, is uh, 36 degrees. Okay, 360 divided by, here's 360 all the way around, divided by 10 of those guys. Okay, so let me pull that triangle out right there. So if that's 36 degrees, then each one of those is 18. So that would be this little piece coming down right here. There's the apothem. That's this guy right here. Notice this whole length is 7, so each piece is 3.5 right there. So here, I need to find the apothem right here. I'm not using a hypotenuse, so this would be a tangent ratio. The tangent of 18 is opposite over adjacent. Okay? So the tangent of 18 becomes 0.325, and then I cross multiply right here. 0.325 times A equals uh, 1 times 3.5. So uh, I divide and I get A equals 10.8. Uh, so there's the apothem right there. Remember, the perimeter is 70, you guys. So, uh, so the area becomes 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. So I just plug in 10.8 um, uh, times the 70 right here and then take a half of that. Okay, so I get 378 units squared. Okay, and again, uh, due to round off error, uh, the book has 377.0, so uh, there's an email from my vice principal. I have a meeting tonight, so all right, let's try one more, you guys. Okay, here is a regular triangle. Since it's a regular triangle, all those angles are 60 because it's equilateral and equiangular, so they're 60. So that little right triangle tells me it's going to cut it, that 60 up into 30 right there, 30 and 30 right there. So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Hooray! Remember 30, 60, 90 triangles? Okay, if that's 5, that's 5 root 3. Remember, the, 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 the 30 had a baby root 3 next to it, so that's why the root 3 is next to it right there, okay? So I don't have to do any sine, cosine, tangent. I do my special right triangles, 30, 60, 90. I know this side length is 10, but I don't need that right there, okay? So if that's 5 root 3, then the whole base is 10 root 3, okay? So it's 5 root 3 here, 5 root 3, okay? So 10 root 3 all the way around the house right there. So the perimeter is 3 times that, or 30 root 3, okay? So the apothem, here's the apothem, okay? So 1 half the apothem times the perimeter, all right? That's the area. So I just plug them in, and I get um, uh, 5 times 30 root 3 is 150 root 3, and then take a half of that is 75 root 3 uh, square units or units squared, okay? All right, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign that for your homework. Take care, you guys.